the moment has finally arrived, and I can hardly contain the whirlwind of emotions swirling within me. It's surreal, really, to think that all those late nights spent in dimly lit studios, pouring my heart into lyrics and melodies, have culminated in this one pivotal moment, my first tour. I can still remember the early days, when it was just me, a guitar, and a dream. I would play in small coffee shops, hoping someone would notice, hoping someone would feel what I felt. And now, here I am, preparing to step onto stages across the country, to share my music with people who have connected with my words in ways I never thought possible. I've always believed that music transcends barriers. It speaks to the soul, ignites memories, and evokes emotions that words alone often fail to capture. Each song I've written is a piece of me, a glimpse into my life, my struggles, my triumphs. It's a profound experience to realize that my stories resonate with others. And now, I have the chance to bring those stories to life in front of a live audience. The thought sends shivers down my spine. But it's not just excitement. It's a cocktail of anxiety and anticipation. There's a weight to this responsibility. I want to deliver an experience that's not just a concert, but a journey. I envision the energy of the crowd, the lights dimming, the first notes ringing out, and the audience swaying in unison. I want to create a space where people can escape, where they can forget their worries for a few hours and just feel. I want to connect with them, to see their faces illuminated by the glow of stage lights, to hear their voices joining in on the choruses that have become anthems of their lives. Yet, amidst this thrill, I can't ignore the challenges that lie ahead. Touring is a beast of its own. The logistics, the travel, the late nights, and early mornings. It's a grueling schedule that tests your limits. I've heard stories from seasoned artists about the toll it takes on your body and mind. The road can be a lonely place, even when surrounded by people. It's a delicate balance between the exhilaration of performing and the exhaustion that follows. I've prepared myself for the physical demands, but the emotional aspect is something I'm still grappling with. How do I maintain authenticity in every performance? How do I ensure that each show feels fresh, alive, and genuine, even when I'm running on fumes? I've surrounded myself with a team that I trust, musicians who share my vision, a crew that understands the magic we're trying to create. We've spent countless hours rehearsing, fine-tuning every note, every transition, every moment of silence that speaks volumes. I want this tour to reflect not just my growth as an artist, but also the collective energy of everyone involved. It's about collaboration, about creating something bigger than ourselves. I want to embrace the spontaneity that comes with live performances, the unexpected moments that make each night unique. As I prepare to take this leap, I remind myself to breathe. I remind myself of the joy that inspired me to pick up a guitar in the first place. I remind myself that this journey is not just about me. It's about the connections I'll forge, the stories I'll share, and the memories we'll create together. I'm ready to embrace the chaos, the beauty, the rawness of it all. I'm ready to step into the spotlight and let the music guide me. This is it, the beginning of a new chapter, a chance to share my heart with the world, and I can't wait to see where this journey takes us.